What's going on, guys? Today, I'm going to go over my pre-market live streams that I've been doing for this whole week. I'm going to show you how important that pre-market live is and all the free plays that I give on there. So you guys should be following me on YouTube. Hit that notification bell, and you guys should be following me every morning when I send out these uh, pre-market lives. They're live, guy, and I'm giving you free plays, guys. So here go YouTube, and I'm going to play some of the plays that I give for you guys. So And I'm going to show you guys how well these plays are doing, all right? So here it goes. The first one is going to be ES. On, on the other yeah, hand, yeah, if it, it breaks, breaks over 5191 in the holes, then ES, ES has room up into 52, 52, 52, 52.28.5. So on the other hand. Yeah. All right, so let's look up ES. And what the ES do, guys? I told you guys, if it holds over 5191.75, ES has room all the way up into 5228.5. And what the ES end up doing, guys? <laughs> it ended up doing just that. So that alone, you could have took some spy calls and you would have made some massive gains. So again, that's one of the plays that I gave that went berserk. Let me see the next one that I gave. What was the next one? The next free play that I gave on the pre-market watch list was TSM. TSM, let me look up, uh, I forgot what, what time was it that I gave it? I think it might have been, let me check. It was later on, but let me play. I'm giving you guys free plays, guys. <laughs> Every day. So it looked good for, um, for a potential breakout here. here. But it looks like it's, like it's eight takes. A, a rejection of 135.3 back under the opening. opening. You can look, for, look puts, for puts and it has room down into 130. 130. 0 0.08, 0 .8. so TSM. A, a spike. Let me speed it up a little bit. Spike, spike over 135.3. Back under the opening. We'll look for puts. Put. Yeah, it's yeah, going down. down. It's 130. I would, oh, I would trim some at, uh, at about 133. You guys hear me there? I say I would trim some at 133. So a rejection of 135.3. I'll look for puts in the tar and I will first trim at 133, but it has room down to 130. What the TSM ended up doing, guys. Let's look at the two minute. Matter of fact, five minutes fine. You guys see it? We rejected that 135.3. And where did TSM go? To 133, guys. That's another free play. Could have made a nice, what, 50%, 70% gains right there. The next one was ARM. I gave another play on ARM. Let me see, when did I talk about ARM? Wow, somewhere around here. I would say around here. Oh, you hit the play button. I keep an eye on that 124.92. If it was to hold that, then it has room down to 121.36. And 116.55. That's cool. That was for ARM, guys. What did, what did ARM do, guys? It break under that 124.92. And it was literally, what, 16 cents from the target, guys. I personally took ARM, and I made some good money on, on ARM. I should have held a little longer, but um, I sold. I, I didn't really like how the market was going. I didn't, I didn't think we were going to get any any good follow through today and any good setups. You guys can see. Let me let me show you guys spy. We, we, we chopped around for a while before we did anything. You guys see this? We chopped for a while, about an about a, a hour and a half. We chopped around. So what, what was the next play I gave? Um, Let's look at NVIDIA. What was it? I think it was NVIDIA. Uh, let's look it up. So I'm giving you guys a bunch of free plays, guys. So... Sign up for that uh, pre-market watch list or oh, the pre-market live stream in the morning, guys. I'm kicking free game, man. Nobody else is doing this. Somewhere around here. Back under. Back under the back opening to take, a, take some points if you like. Target 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 target. You can possibly uh, take uh, a take rejection off A69. So I'll wait for whatever video opens at. I will wait for it to spike over this level and back under. Back under the opening to take, a, take some points if you like, and target 41.97. But if NVIDIA holds back over 869.4, then it has room up to 881, 888.42, then 907.26. All right, let's look at what NVIDIA ended up doing, guys. 
both of them worked out. Both the plans worked out. I set a rejection. We got that rejection of 869. You could take some puts. That would have been about a $20 move. Then I said, if it breaks over 869.4, then NVIDIA has room up into 881. Then 888.42 and NVIDIA ended up doing that, guys. So I'm giving free game, guys. Free game. And last but not least, I spoke about, I think it was AMD. Let me see what time. It was at around. Oh, I think I'm working at, right before here, right? The 182.96. You try to take a rejection off here. And then talk around a little more. But there's really no really level going to play out. I guess you can try to reject from this level, this small pivot here. You can probably try to take a rejection from that level here. At 183.96. You try to take a rejection off here. And then target at 178.71, but there's really no level in sight for him. All right, guys, and let's look at AMD. What did AMD do, guys? We rejected that 183.96. And I told you guys to target at 178.71. Beautiful move, guys. So again, guys, <laughs> follow me on when I'm when I'm doing these pre-market live stream, guys. I am kicking free game. I'm gonna make you money for free. You don't even have to pay. You just gotta follow me on YouTube. Hit the like button, subscribe, guys. And that's gonna be all for today, guys. Thank you for your time. Peace.